Russian forces have reclaimed two villages in the western Kursk region, according to the Russian Defense Ministry. The villages, Uspanovka and Borki, situated near Ukraine's Sumy region, were retaken amidst ongoing clashes with Ukrainian forces that began in early August. The Russian counteroffensive in Kursk marks a significant response to Kyiv's surprise attacks in the region, which Moscow has described as the largest assault on Russian soil since World War II. Kursk Governor Alexei Smirnov has ordered the evacuation of several settlements close to the Ukrainian border as the conflict intensifies. Though Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky acknowledged the situation in Kursk, he downplayed Russia's gains, asserting that Ukrainian forces still hold significant ground in the region. Over a hundred battles have taken place since the start of this day, with the most intense fighting in the Kurakovy and Pokrovsk directions. We are defending our positions. We also reviewed the Kursk operation in detail, and each day we are acting precisely as planned. President Vladimir Putin has ordered the expansion of Russia's armed forces, boosting active personnel to 1.5 million, making it the second largest military globally after China. The decree, issued on Monday, outlines an overall increase in the size of the armed forces to 2.38 million, with the aim of strengthening Russia's capacity in ongoing and future operations. The expansion is part of a broader strategy to reinforce military capabilities, particularly in light of increased tensions along Russia's northwestern border with NATO member Finland. We now need to form new structures and military units to ensure security in the northwest since Finland, with which we border, has joined the NATO bloc. And in order to carry out this process, we need to increase the number of troops. Lawmakers have emphasized the need for additional military units to secure the region, while analysts question whether Moscow can sustain the financial burden of such an increase. Despite no plans for further mass mobilization, Russia continues to recruit volunteers, filling the ranks for ongoing operations in Ukraine. However, experts caution that the expanded force may place strain on the defense budget, raising questions about the Kremlin's ability to maintain both military spending and recruitment goals. As battles continue in eastern Ukraine and Kursk, Russia's military reshaping signals its intent to solidify gains and counter ongoing challenges on multiple fronts.